so now what you are currently seeing now is the <coughs> the landing page that we've built so far that's the sales page we've done so far and then we achieved this through the use of text so everything that we've covered so far all the lessons all the topics that we've covered so far we had to combine everything and then to build up this landing page so everything i'm seeing here is something that we've discussed so far and one of them we've talked about adding of elements to our sales copy our sales page we've talked about adding buttons we've talked about formatting of text okay we've talked about formatting of image aligning image to center aligning elements to center to left or to right we also talked about adding borders border color border width and we've talked about padding all right now we talked about adding you know call to action buttons and as you can see from here and we also talked about adding some video elements or pictures or media from our library media library okay and then we also talked about formatting of text as you can see we formatted the course um, structure here we used all right formatted it to heading 2 that's why you can see the text formatted already here and then we added some testimonials through the use of uh, adding images to our sales page now these are the different students that got this course and as you can see we decided to add them as images here we talked about adding columns okay now this is a three column um, section one two three and then we we decided to add images to the three columns now these are frequently asked questions right then we also have some of some see what some of my students are saying you can see a whole lot of them and then this is a money back guarantee then this is another element here all right this is a section we are adding at the footer now in this lecture what i'll basically be doing is to teach you how to save a template right save a page a sales copy as a template why we do this is that you can easily import an already created sales page without having to go about designing a new one now this um becomes very necessary especially if you are to send your already designed sales page to maybe a marketing firm for example sending it to digistem or expandia or any if any other affiliate marketing platform now you've done your design all you have to do is that you just need to send the template down to the design team of the company which you want to list your product and all they have to do is for them to import um the template you've saved so far to their page right to a page they are going to create and every element that we see here is going to be imported right down to that page so there's no need to start rebuilding everything from scratch okay and now this is basically what i'll be taking you on this course this video lesson now while you're on your page and you are sure that you've completed your design and everything is all set the next action you have to do remember we've already saved it and it's already updated already so, so all you have to do, just click on this arrow pointing up here and then the next thing is to click on save as template and now you give it a template name let's say this is data analysis course okay data analysis so i'll just save it as data analysis template now click on save and once i click on save right is going to save your data analysis template so it's already saved here so all i have to do is to click on this as you can see we have three buttons three dots here as you can see this is the name of the template this is a type it's a page then created by the creator okay in a wordpress site where we may have multiple authors okay then this name becomes dynamic such that the author that creates this page or save this page to say is going to appear here then we have the creation date the date in which this page was recently modified okay or created or updated to say and now we have some actions here do you want to preview you want to insert this same page inside this current page or you'd want to take some other actions you want to delete it or you want to export it now we want to export this page and click on export and you're going to get the downloaded file and it's going to download it in json file okay this is an object notation file javascript object notation file and so all the designer would have to do at the other end is for the person to go to the page and then import this um, template down to their page and everything will be set up right so this is basically i've covered how to 
export already created sales page to another page so thank you so much for joining me once again and i'll see you next time